Item Number SCP-3768 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures Information about the procedure of SCP-3768-A is to be contained in a single paper document at Site-59. Foundation Webcrawler 7 orfeo is to excise and expunge any other information on the internet pertaining to SCP-3768-A. Standard information suppression campaigns are to be carried out at low priority for non-digital storage formats. A radio with the prepared SCP-3768-A arrangement is to be kept for research into SCP-3768-B. SCP-3768-B is to be monitored and recorded at Site-59 at the discretion of Director Nysmith. SCP-3768-A is a ritualistic procedure carried out through the use of 3.7 grams of zinc, at least 400 grams of table salt, no more than 5 grams of silver, and 7 honeybee carcasses, at least 90% intact from death. These ingredients must be arranged in a specific formation around a civilian FM radio within 500 km of Baltimore, Maryland. Upon completion of SCP-3768-A, a new radio station can be accessed at 97.3 FM, identified as Three Moons Public Radio, or 3MPR. The origin of this frequency is believed to be an extra-dimensional plane of reality. The show's 24-hour programming features news and editorials for the inhabitants of the signal's plane of origin. The host, who allegedly has never been off the air once in 300 years, identifies as a permanently 27-year-old female human of French Senegalese descent named Julie Neong, hereafter identified as SCP-3768-C. Whether or not the recordings are factual is restricted to personnel with 5-3768 clearance. Selections from SCP-3768-B Recordings SCP-3768-C Good morning, Drissage. It is now 8 a.m. Old Eastern Standard Time. Meteorological Station on left is maintaining a pleasant 62 degrees out today, so wear a light jacket if you're headed to the meat tree market. SCP-3768-C Lord Gonturus, also known as the Elephant King or the Ark Hedon, released an official public statement yesterday to celebrate the fact that he's temporarily sober for the first time in 300 years. He took questions from Saklovian reporters on the steps of the Marble Hall. In regard to the approximately 30,000 captives of his so-called meat orgies, Lord Gonturus responded with, quote, This was never a part of the plan. The Soma was tainted from the start. None of us can stop. I cannot stop. I am scared. Please help us. Male Voice I suppose it goes without saying that I've been bloody well disappointed the whole time. There I was, all, imagine there's no heaven, and no hell below us. Then I wake up from the murder, and I'm in a place that manages to be both at the same time. Imagine there's no countries. Corbinic's got a few trillion countries, and they're in a permanent war with one another. SCP-3768-C Speaking of which, what are your thoughts on the Strider situation? Male Voice Interesting that you mention that. I've actually got a song about the whole affair lined up for the new album. It's called Dead Monkey, Good Monkey. Probably one of my least subtle tracks in a while. I haven't yelled so much in 40 years of life as I had in 30 minutes of recording. The boys and I were trying to go for an early Devin Townsend sound, you know? The angrier the better. Not to sidetrack too much, of course. So, as for the issue itself, as far as I'm concerned, the Striders gave Peace a chance, then ate it, like they do with everything that isn't nailed to the ground in this hellhole. I'm not entirely convinced why we shouldn't just drop everything we have on Bogle Mountain. SCP-3768-C To no one's surprise, the Central Cabal's unanimous passing of the Mandatory Pan-Corbanese Human Sterilization Act or MPCHSA, has been causing controversy among the colonies resulting in demonstrations across the lunar capital. Opponents, including the Child of Heaven Coalition, claim that the right to responsibly conceive children is inalienable. President Neong, 
who is expected to sign the MPCHSA into law on Tuesday, released the following statement. Male voice. The world we live in now was meant to be the logical conclusion of our lives on Earth. To create new life here would be to create mortal life. When this happens, and it has happened all too often, the polarity of death is reversed, and the departed mortal leaves to live forever in Corbinic's so-called sister universe. The tricky bit with this, of course, is that our world is designed for immortals, theirs isn't. There are two inevitable results. A guaranteed living nightmare drifting off into deep space, or in the custody of the Foundation, as with several extant case studies, or the presence of an unkillable human being on Earth with all the potential violence it would entail. SCP 3768C In addition, Three Moons Press Secretary Lyndon B. Johnson has insisted that the sterilization measures are painless, non invasive, and finally, some good news about this, will not affect libido. SCP 3768C We have some breaking news to report out of Bogle Mountain. The Witch Queen, Hikati Bogle, may her name be thrice damned for eternity, has died of apparent liver failure. Though it has been previously believed that the Witch Queen was immortal, drone surveillance footage has confirmed the death of the Strider Matriarch, who was responsible for the consumption and agonizing digestion of over immortal human colonists. Three Moon's intelligence officials in the Prefecture have reported the Witch Queen's last words to be Noleg Mesjin which literally translates to, I find food planet. It is believed that the Witch Queen's post-mortem vector is identical to that of humans, with a possible spawn point in the Message from the Three Moons Initiative Foundation, we have some bad news. At an undetermined time in the coming months, the entity you know is SCP-PC-007 a hostile, reality-warping, 10-kilometer-tall and now immortal primate is going to enter the orbital path of Mars, en route to Earth. There is a negligible chance of neutralization if she is attacked before then, which becomes a full zero if she gets any nearer to Earth. Multiversal Iteration 2N If the records of Foundation terminology from Earth 2M are at all analogous to yours, you have an XK on your hands, at best. Look, she is aware of the existence of SCP-3319, and it'll likely be the first thing she'll smash to pieces. There's no easy exit here. This is going to be a long and difficult battle, and the best potential outcomes that the precogs and R&D can come up with involve the death of 87.5% of humanity. Many adjectives, doomed among them, come to mind, but the last thing you are in the coming months is alone. We've fought five wars against her and her armies, a good two of which were successful. You'll be provided with as much help as we can provide. And frankly, this is the angriest we've seen Lord Jalakara in a millennium. His grudge against her predates multicellular life. Even if our army is 75% paperwork and in fighting, we at least know he has an idea of what he's doing. And if she does cause your extinction, well… When you get to the Great Mead Hall of Saklavai, drinks are on us. You are watched, you are protected, and win or lose, you are loved. Three Moons <laughs>